When we, when we first started coming to the neighborhood, it was pretty laid back and quiet because they didn't nobody know what it was at first or a lot of people don't know a lot about healthy and fresh vegetables because they never probably had it before and it was kind of laid back. But now about us rolling seven days out the week and being consistent with the schedule and coming, I think it's helping the neighborhood out more and also bringing more people around. It's a mobile market, so it's a part of what Growing Power do. So we go around to Voo Desert neighborhoods and places that got shortness on vegetables and fruit or can't get access to it in their neighborhood. So we pull up. So it's pretty much a bus on wheels. It's a pull-up game. I was educated inside, too. I became aware of edible flowers. I didn't know about that. And you guys helped me make a healthy choice for lunch today. And it's convenient, even though I drive. I'm sure sometimes most people, they just want to shop in the, in the neighborhood. So I came here for, to conduct business and decided to buy me a pound of grapes. Oh, yes, I love apples and oranges. I love all that. But I didn't shop more because I'm not going straight home and I didn't want to leave it in my car. But these grapes will be ate up before I go home, for sure. So Green Power, a nonprofit organization, so we do a lot of farming here in the city of Chicago. We got seven sites and about 14 acres in total for growing. So we employ about 215 teenagers in the summer. It's a job training program, so we build hoop houses, aquaponics, compost, beekeeping, farmers markets, pretty much farming. Every day of the week we go to different locations. Um, Monday they go like west, so they go deep into the south. Um, up north, downtown. Yeah, it's my first time. I was just coming out of this building. Someone said, oh, they're selling fresh produce over there. And I needed to go grocery shopping anyway, so they oh, it's right near my house, so I just kind of came over. When I went in there, I came out with like a whole bunch of produce, and it was only like 21 bucks. So I'm like, if you're living in, um, like people who have low income, when they come, they can get fresh food, and it's, it doesn't cost as much, so I like that. When I was in there, I was actually taking pictures. I was really excited. Like, oh, I'm, and I called my grandma. I was like, oh, do you want some of this? I think it's so convenient because I literally, I'm like a 10 minute walk from my house. I'm definitely going to tell people about it. Yeah, so um, I can speak from my dreams of the Fresh Moves mobile market in 10 years. And I really want to see it being like one of a cornerstone example for folks to be able to replicate, whether it's here in Chicago or elsewhere around um, the country or around the world. Um, I also would love to see it even more um, rooted in community as an economic opportunity, right? really giving youth the opportunity to have jobs. So learning how to make prepared grab and go foods and then and getting that entrepreneurship experience to sell those there on the bus, um, value-added products from youth, really engaging with local farmers. So definitely we grow a lot of food here, growing power, but then things that we don't grow or produce, really being able to have local farmers plugged in. For this year, the goal is to have three buses on the road. We got two buses and it's to go west side and one going to south side and they just going to come to the base, get reloaded every day and one go that way, one go this way. But we're going to have three on the road by September. That's the goal. Just got to work hard.